Well, WCNC Charlotte celebrating Earth Week by highlighting the ways that we impact the environment. So despite declines off of recent highs, gas prices we are seeing still pretty high right now. Some of you are thinking about going electric. Turns out there are a lot of claims about this new technology. So tonight we verify how these vehicles could impact the grid. Those high gas prices have a lot of you searching for electric cars. We see that on the latest Google Trends, but new claims coming with that curiosity. We're seeing this on our social media feeds a lot, asking if more Americans owned an electric vehicle, would the electric grid cave under the demand? Let's verify. Our sources, Randy Wheelis with Duke Energy and Stan Cross with the Southern Alliance for Clean Energy. Turns out power companies like Duke Energy are looking ahead and anticipating what's coming down the pike. But we know that we're going to have to invest more in our grid because that's an, a big load coming. Uh, we need to invest in our grid to make sure we can handle that in the future. Wheelis says Duke Energy is putting up solar farms to meet expected demand as more electric cars take to the roads. We also have a great nuclear fleet, natural gas, hydro, pump storage. We have a, a kind of a all of the above energy sources in North Carolina that we think can handle that load when electric vehicles really start to take off. Both Cross and Wheeler say electric car owners mostly charge at night when there's usually lower stress on the grid. There's an abundance of energy that's unused on the electrical grid at night when 80% of all EV charging happens. And that's plenty of power to charge the country's EVs if we were all driving one. So we can verify, yes, if more people in the U.S. owned an electric vehicle, the grid could handle the demand for electricity. Hey, we love getting your questions. Email our verified team at the address on your screen.